in war trivial causes produce momentous events. Which death is preferably to every other? The unexpected. The difference between a republic and an empire is the loyalty of one's army. In war, events of importance are the result of trivial causes. It is better to create than to learn. Creating is the essence of life. It is easier to find men who will volunteer to die than to find those who are willing to endure pain with patience. Without training, they lack knowledge. Without knowledge, they lacked confidence. Without confidence, they lacked victory. War gives the right to the conquerors to impose any condition they please upon the vanquished. As a result of a general defect of nature, we are either more confident or more fearful of unusual and unknown things. The things that we want we willingly believe, and the things that we think we expect everyone else to think. Avoid an unusual and unfamiliar word just as you would a reef. The Celts were fearless warriors because they wished to inculcate this as one of their leading tenets, that souls do not become extinct, but pass after death from one body to another. Experience is the teacher of all things. Arms and laws do not flourish together. I had rather be first in a village than second at Rome. It is better to suffer once than to be in perpetual apprehension. I believe that the members of my family must be as free from suspicion as from actual crime. Men's minds tend to fear more keenly those things that are absent. I would rather be the first man in a barbarian village than the second man in Rome. I came, I saw, I conquered. As a rule, what is out of sight disturbs men's minds more seriously than what they see. Fortune, which has a great deal of power in other matters but especially in war, can bring about great changes in a situation through very slight forces. All Gaul is divided into three parts. If you must break the law, do it to seize power, in all other cases observe it. I am prepared to resort to anything, to submit to anything, for the sake of the commonwealth. People readily believe what they want to believe. He conquers twice, who shows mercy to the conquered. No one is so brave that he is not disturbed by something unexpected. Jan Cassius has a lean and hungry look. No music is so charming to my ear as the requests of my friends and the supplications of those in one of my assistants. I love treason but hate a traitor. Beer, a high and mighty liquor. I have always reckoned the dignity of the Republic of first importance and preferable to life. It's only hubris if I fail. I have lived long enough to satisfy both nature and glory. The greatest enemy will hide in the last place you would ever look. Caesar's wife must be above suspicion. What we wish, we readily believe, and what we ourselves think, we imagine others think also. In the end, it is impossible not to become what others believe you are. To win by strategy is no less the role of a general than to win by arms. All bad precedents begin as justifiable measures. Set honor in one eye and death in th other, and I will look on both indifferently. I love the name of honor more than I fear death. I have lived long enough both in years and in accomplishments. I love the name of honor more than I fear death. It is not these well-fed long-haired men that I fear, but the pale and the hungry-looking. The die has been cast. I am going to Spain to fight an army without a general, and thence to the east to fight a general without an army. It is the right of war for conquerors to treat those whom they have conquered according to their pleasure. If I fail it is only because I have too much pride and ambition. Men willingly believe when they want to.
wine and other luxuries have a tendency to enervate the mind and make men less brave in battle. A coward dies a thousand deaths, the gallant never taste of death but once. I wished my wife to be not so much as suspected. Common traditional saying, Caesar's wife must be above suspicion. Our men must win or die. Pompey's men have other options. Cowards die many times before their actual deaths. Every woman's man, and every man's woman. Men freely believe that which they desire. Men in general are quick to believe that which they wish to be true. Go on, my friend, and fear nothing, you carry Caesar and his fortune in your boat. Men willingly believe what they wish. As a rule, men worry more about what they can't see than about what they can. Men are nearly always willing to believe what they wish. In war, important events result from trivial causes, 